Gravity Circuit's the latest indie game that I've had my eye on for a while, and it finally released. But let me tell you, if you're a fan of classic Mega Man games, you will really like this game. Personally, I haven't played a lot of Mega Man, but I have seen it. And one main difference I've noticed is that Mega Man is more of a long-range attacking game, and this game is more melee-based. But we'll quickly discuss everything about this game and everything it has to offer, and how much I enjoyed it so far in my playtime. I haven't beat the game yet, I have played a little bit, but I've had a lot of fun. So make sure you like and subscribe, and well, let's get into it. Now the game itself is a rather short game, but don't let that fool you at all because it still has a lot in terms of variety and items that you can unlock. But you play as Kai who is one of nine guardians in this robot universe and in a past war against a virus, all the guardians were wiped out except Kai. Now fast forward to present day in the game, the virus army that you fought previously, which we just kind of saw flashbacks of, they're attacking again with all the robot guardians on their side somehow. Turns out they're not dead. There's your story. Now, if eight guardians in the game, there's going to be eight chapters total, and you can choose which chapter you want to do. You can do chapter over here or over there. You can choose whatever chapter you want, and each chapter ends in a guardian fight. I assume classic Mega Man games are like this, where you just choose, you pick and choose whatever mission you want to do, and it doesn't really matter, as you don't really get a lot of permanent buffs in terms of, like, damage and health. Now, you do get different special moves and buffs, but we're going to discuss those later. Pure Vanilla Kai, you have a nice little grappling hook that you can use. It also does some damage. You can wall grab and, you know, slide up and down the wall a little bit you can slide overall the movement feels very good in this game now each level has a good amount to offer for how short this game is not like crazy amount but each level has their own different setting which will lead to different type of booby traps and environmental hazards you need to watch out for and if you're a completionist in this game you will be playing through these levels a good amount trying to get every single achievement but you have robot civilians to save tons of obstacles to dodge and plenty of credits to get from fighting different robots so you can get upgrades outside of the levels each level also has plenty of checkpoints that you can get so if you die you just respawn back there's no really negative to dying in this game but you can get your special move for a small fee and all the levels they're not the longest thing in the world each one could probably take you 30 to 45 minutes total depending on how good you are at Mega Man games personally I'm not the greatest at this type of platform and action game you know I'm, I'm okay at platformers I feel but you know action and platform I'm not the greatest at and each level took me about 37 minutes or so Granted, that I've only done two of them but it's still a lot of fun I've, I've been having a great time with it and I died a lot I feel like the obstacles do a crazy amount of damage and with the combat being so close range i personally wasn't really used to it but there are upgrades outside of levels that help negate both of that i got an upgrade after my first level that made my fist have longer range and the second level the combat wasn't really much of a problem for me anymore in between levels you have this little hub world which is where you get your passive buffs and your upgrade there might be a few more things but i haven't really explored it too much but you know those two those are the two main things that you get the game has a lot of passive buffs that you can unlock but you can only equip three of them at a time and you need to save civilians in each level if you want to unlock them. Each level has eight civilians total that you can save, and each civilian saved is like one currency. And I'd say each buff costs around three to five civilian currency to get, along with like a hundred robot credits, maybe. But you know, that's not that bad. Then the other thing I've focused on personally in the hub world is the technique. And these are the special moves. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're the special moves, but like this game doesn't really have much of a tutorial. You kind of just learn as you go. And the special moves I feel are only used on the LB and RB buttons on your Xbox controller or whatever equivalent it is to whatever controller you're using or mouse and keyboard. Towards the end of my little play session of this game, I was starting to use the techniques more and did get it down a little bit more, but it's a little confusing at first. And each technique costs about 2,000 robot parts, I'd say, so they're definitely a little bit more expensive. And really, that's all there is to talk about Gravity Circuit without spoiling too much, I feel. The variety with upgrades and buffs, honestly, it's a nice surprise with how short the game is. I wasn't really expecting that going into this game, but like I said, I've never played a Mega Man game. I'm pretty sure this is heavily inspired by those type of games, Mega Man mostly, those action platformer games that so many people love. I've just never really got into them. I found the combat to be a little challenging at first, but once I adapted, it wasn't too bad. And the environmental traps do a bunch of damage Damage, you know that's not really a big deal to me since if you die you just respawn back to your latest checkpoint and there's not really any negative to die you don't really lose any robot parts or anything like that you just restore back to full health and you just go again which is nice but really i know i haven't played classic Mega Man that much if you're a fan of it though i would highly suggest this game the soundtrack and gameplay and really the graphics it's all fantastic and i'd probably give this game like a solid eight nine out of ten early out the gates that's pretty good i feel maybe an 8.5 i'll throw it at an 8.5 why not 8.5 out of 10 for a quick 15 dollars indie purchase that's not really too bad sure there's a negative that it might only be about four hours long four to five hours long depending on how good you are at these types of games 
but maybe you'd replay it. There is a new game plus option, but apparently the new game plus option I read, it's not really much different compared to the you know, base game. I don't see why not you pick this game up. Great soundtrack, great graphics, pretty great gameplay, a nice variety of upgrades and passive buffs that kind of come out of nowhere, but a little bit of, sh a little short, a little on the shorter side, but you can choose any chapter you want. So hey, give it a shot. Let me know if you plan on picking up Gravity Circuit or if you have any questions on it, I'll answer them if I can. Thanks for watching this video. An extra special shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Still, you guys are fantastic. Thanks for making this dream a reality as I try to figure out the best way to go forward with YouTube and all of that. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time.